Yeah, I'm rolling. Oh, recording, recording, recording. Okay, hands off the keyboard. <laughs> Welcome to another CSS battle. This one's gonna be a little bit different today. Instead of trying to get to 100% with the fewest number of characters to recreate this image, it's the first one to finish. So all three of us, Scott, Wes, and I, are gonna to compete to recreate this React logo with CSS. And the first one to be done is the winner. Are you all ready? Yes. I am. Ready, go. Okay, we gotta move, 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 move. Okay, we're gonna say 50 picks, 50 picks. Border, uh, oh my God, not a good time to, um, 50%. Okay, okay, let's move it, let's move it, let's move it. So my idea here is I'm going to take that div, give it a width and a height, and then a border radius of like 20px, something really high, and a border 10px solid with that. Okay, there needs to be no background. The body is going to be background this, okay. I'm gonna set the background to that black color. I think I will still remove the margin on everything so it doesn't mess up the styling. So everything, margin zero. I'll have a div, we're gonna, let's do the orange one. Let's just get that orange oval in the exact right spot. We'll give it a class of O, and we'll give it a border of two pixels solid, that orange color. Do like a width of 100 and a height of 100. And I do have to target that, okay. So it's probably, it's gonna be bigger than that, probably 10 pixels. We just have to set up the border radius. Let's do 50%. And then we'll also work on the width and the height. On here, I'm gonna do a body. Oh, come on, Emmett. Of course, I'm, uh, now I'm trying to go too fast, so I'm just like massively uh, making mistakes. Uh, style equals align content center. Okay, and we're gonna say margin uh, zero auto. Um, 50 picks, 50 picks. Okay, it's not 50 picks. It is 40 picks. It is 40 picks. It is perfect. It rules. Okay, let's go. Um, and then we're gonna do and before and after, div before, div after. Okay, um, background color. Let's do this color for this one. And then transform, rotate. Oh, we're gonna do rotate 45 degrees. Um, display block, content, empty, okay. I'll make the height bigger than the width. So the height, let's say, is like 200. And then let's do a transform rotate of, let's say, 25 degrees. Do negative 25 degrees. It looks almost exact. And then let's just get it into the right spot. So I'm going to make it uh, position fixed. We'll do top of 20 pixels left of 20 pixels and then go even more from there. So like 60, 70, 80, maybe it's 100 and then just get it exactly aligned. So we'll move it. Let's get the top left exactly aligned and then we can work on the width and the height. So let's go over a little bit more, 140, 120, and then top a little bit less, 135. And then let's make it longer. Probably like 250. Yeah, I think getting this aligned is going to be the hardest part. Yeah, I think this is close, but it's not 25 degrees. It's probably 20, no, 30 degrees. Yeah, this is really close. I think getting this one aligned is going to be is going to be the hardest part. The A is going to include the styles that put it in the center. So A position fixed. It's going to be top of 50%. Uh, left of 50%. We're going to do translate 50 or negative 50% and negative 50%. This is a trick to put something position fixed in the middle of the screen. This is going to have border solid. Let's do five picks for now. And then this color, it is going to have a border radius of it is going to have a border radius of let's say 40 picks for now. It's going to be a weird border radius Width is going to be 100 picks height it's going to be 100 picks the border radius i i guess it should be 50 percent 50 percent and then not just 50 percent um it should be the width and height they're going to be interesting so the width is going to be something more like 80 and the height is going to be something more like 200 and for some reason this did not get put in the center picks there we go it's still not in the center that's actually very odd that it's not in the center top auto Left auto, that doesn't work. Great, great. Let's just get this in a position. I'm just trying to get this in here 
and ready to go 35 <laughs> this is not what i wanted to be doing on this we're going to say width is 100 pixels that seems more right we're going to rotate it uh, 45 deg and it looks like that's too much we're going to rotate it 35 deg that's closer 30 deg okay the height can go more height to 40 of course that throws everything out of king whack okay uh now we need to stack them on top of each other so position absolute top zero left zero and then let's just start pushing them down uh the height needs to be higher 60 50 uh oh this is starting to go south for me. This is not what I thought would happen. I have no idea. Like just getting that in the exact spot is the hardest part. Dang it. Okay. It's definitely a little less than 10. Let's go with eight pixels, nine pixels, 11. No, it's 10. It's gotta be 10. Absolute. Am I spelling? There we go. Okay. 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 Let's do background red. Okay. Um, body align content center. Okay. Uh, text align center margin that doesn't work so we'll put a margin zero auto okay that got it in the middle good okay oh it's not 45 degrees all right i gotta i gotta figure out how to make these a bit better uh, let's do pixels instead let's do 100 pixels because that is going to be standardized a little bit more okay that's really close with this now going to be 80 pixels width is going to be 90 pixels dead on okay this is the green one so let's now do b is going to be background or this is border color okay there we go and then a height of 230 yes yes this is so close oh, cj's going yes yes i'm doing amazing because i use eight box shadows is west celebrating because he won so because we figured out the exact shape, now we just need several more of these. So we have the orange one, we have the green one, and then we have the white one. So I'm gonna style all of them exactly the same and then adjust their position and background. So white and then green. Oh, border radius 50%. There we go. Why was I using pixels? Okay, 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 okay. We're in good shape now. Okay, now this needs to be, they need to be angled up a bit more. So 55 degrees. Let's get the actual width dialed in first. This is gonna rotate negative 30 deg. Okay, cool. This last one, which is D, D, 180? No, 90? Beauty. Background color for this one is in fact this normal color. Now we just have to get them to be in the correct order and I win uh, if I can do that. Now let's position the green one. So it's gonna have a background of this green color. Uh, not a background, a border. So the border will be this, but with the green color, it has the same width and height and then just a different rotation. So instead of negative 30 degrees, it'll just be 30 degrees. Yes, perfect. And now we need the white one. Okay, and then the width needs to be to 30. Okay. And then the height is probably 80. The height needs to be higher. All right, the height is right. The bottom one is D. The next one is, let's go. Submit, 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 submit. Give me that 100, 100, 100, 100. Let's go. 99.8. They're ever just so slightly off. Now I need to make sure that they're in the, they're in the right order. So the white one needs to be the first one drawn so it's underneath. And then the green one needs to be underneath the orange one. Okay, this should be perfect match in the center. Yes, last thing we need is that little blue circle. What is going on? The These circles are different size? What? With 250 PX? No, that's not right. Is it because I did absolute positioning? Something goofed up here. I don't need that. Let's try negative 60. What am I doing wrong here? My, they need to go up and over. Why? Top, oh, maybe to account for the border? Yes. Left, negative 10 PX. Yes. Okay, got it. 90.5. Does that do me any better here? Oh my God, I'm so close. No, it's all slipping through my hands. I heard it. So I'm gonna add one more div. Uh, we'll give it a class of C for circle. Background of that blue color. Let's give it a width of probably 20 and a height of 20. Border radius of 50 cent, 50%, 50%, 
and it's even bigger than that. So let's go up to like 50. Smaller than that. Is it 30? 30 looks pretty good. It could be 35. Let's go with 35. And then now we need to position it. So top 200 pixels and we need to make it position fixed. I'm just submitting, please. Just come on, come on. Background, radial gradient, circle. What color is that? That's the blue. Start at zero, go for 10 PX and then transparent zero. Okay, good. How much better can I get here? This is gonna be worse. Okay, so I need to, I'm gonna get it positioned exactly at the top. Come on, come on. It's taking forever to submit. 100% match. Done. With a 40 and a height of 40, I think. And then left of 180. Are these jokers still going? I cannot get past 99%. Oh, submit. 100%. 100%. Yeah, 100% match. Done. Why can't I not get past 99%? <laughs> what the absolute hell is, is wrong here? Easy. I could have gone faster. I mean, I get that I get that the diff is ever so slightly off. I'm gonna go get a drink. Wes is just taunting. Wes technically beat me, but he he did not submit a screenshot in the Slack. Chime in in the Slack with with a screenshot to prove it. So there's no proof that he actually won. No, Randy, we have video evidence. I don't know about that. 99% match. Are you shitting me? <laughs> I don't need a screenshot in the Slack. That's what we agreed on Get at the out beginning. of here. I think you messed with the timestamps. All right, I'll go first. I got to 99% like instantly and then could not get past 99%. It mm -hmm. looks pretty good. I get that it like has a little bit of stutter here, but I was just tweaking, you know, like point percent or point pixel values just in an effort to get it past a 99% match, and 90. I could not do it. Your your border needs to be 10 pixels, not nine pixels. That's the issue. It was, it okay. was. What was your width? So I have 90 for width, 230 for height, and a 10 pixel solid border. But this I didn't is what use, I had. I didn't use translate, I used a uh, fixed position. Maybe that is what's messing it up. I mean, that could very well be the problem, but like mm. I had, yeah, those values, and I could not get it past 99.9%. Yeah. Uh, just the crazy thing is that you got wrong. your score is almost better than mine, though. You're still code golfing <laughs> it. I did not. Yeah. I just it's so nice not to fuss with those um, all the little tricks. Yeah, I'm just shocked that I couldn't get this. Couldn't get it past the line. All right, CJ. So I just have four elements fixed. Posi I'm like the fixed position king at this point. Just like <laughs> I did fixed position <laughs> like, as well. Yeah, yeah, just get it exactly and then position it. So this is, I styled the orange one first and it has a top of 25, a left of 145. And then they all get the same styles. They just override the rotation and the border. As I was going at the end, I had to figure out the correct order to draw them in because it goes uh, orange is on top, oh, green, green I underneath. Oh, lucky. Yeah, and then oh. white underneath no, I, that yeah, one. I, I got that, yeah. Yeah, I drew them in the in the wrong order, but I just swapped around my divs and then they're they're painted in the right right position. But yeah, just fixed position. Nothing crazy. All right, I used um align content center to put everything in the middle. I'm I'm like so so done with absolutely positioning everything and trying to push them over, you know? It's yeah. uh, always a nightmare. Yeah. I use a radial gradient again. That's my like calling card now. I called that. I bet Wes is using radial gradients here for some dumb reason. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, a before and after. So basically the three parts are the div, a div before and a div after. And then mm. I basically clocked the before and after values. And then the only thing that was, was messing me up was that there's there's no border box set on this by default. So everything was a little bit off and mm. it was because I had to account for the size of the border. So I had to bump it up and over 10 pixels. Pretty fun. I, obviously, I'm the winner uh, again. <laughs> <Good job. laughs> Man! Yeah. Drew! I'm, I'm surprised you got with before and after, you just drew them in the right order. Because that would have messed that you up. That was so lucky that that yeah. happened. Because I I don't know that I would have. I would have been getting into Z index then. You know, I guess yeah. I could have swapped them. But that was just dead lucky. Yeah, congrats. The reigning champ of CSS battles. So. Ah, I'm exasperated. Because yeah. I spent so long <laughs> at 99% just hitting yes. the button. Like, get there. <laughs> this is for the win. And I could not get there. Yeah, we almost need like a... Like a jury, you can appeal to the jury being like, this is this is 100%, right? I would like to appeal to the <laughs> jury, uh, but since many of the commenters think that I am a self-absorbed asshat, uh, <laughs> I would lose that appeal. <laughs>
<laughs> Wes is the reigning champ. Congrats, Wes. Uh, if you enjoyed this, you'll definitely enjoy one of these other battles that we've done here. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.